see that when we get up there. Up near the top. Yeah. There's a lake bar. Why couldn't that have formed the whole bay? Why isn't that the bottom of the only lake and the only hole that was ever here? Uh, these layers clearly were not deposited at the bottom of the lake. These layers clearly were uh, deposited by wind, interspersed with a rainstorm or two. So what happens is, <clears throat> Bottom to top. You got gray clay right here. All right. When the bay formation process, Alan didn't want to call it an impact or whatever, but when the bay formation process happened, it cut, it blew everything away and cut into the gray clay and warped up the, the top surface of it. So it's irregular. It's got lumps in it. It's, it's not straight. It was originally laid down straight at the bottom of the ocean, but it's not straight anymore because that formation process wallowed it out. The clay that came out was mixed with the overlaying sand, probably in the air, and it mostly was thrown out. Some of it fell right back in immediately. And that's this layer right here that's nondescript. From, from the clay up to the first annual ring, so to speak. And this right in here fell in right away. Mm -hmm. Just crashed back in. That's a mixture of sand and clay. Uh, in fact, it's still the gray color because of the clay. Mm -hmm. This is orange because on top of the clay is where the water ends up. Water rusts out the iron mm -hmm. and turns it orange. That's why it's mm -hmm. orange. Precipitates it out. Yeah. Water seeps all the way down through all this sand and gets to the orange and rusts uh, rust the iron. Oh. Uh, that this is all within the bay. How do you not know what you call the lake level up there isn't the first, last, and only lake level of a big shallow lake out here that that blew itself into an oval? Because all the bay indicators that we have tested for so far are thick. There's lots of them all the way down to the clay, and they completely stop at the clay. And you're saying if you went outside the bay, you wouldn't find those indicators anywhere in the soil profile? Well, my, uh, my digitizing work tells me there ain't much area that's outside of a bay. I mean, yeah. It's almost all in bays everywhere. But I guess around. we did it at George Howard Bay. We did the... Well... Right? We went under it. Um, no, we did outside it, hole 22 or whatever. Yeah, we did. Right. And we found. See, we I found, wish we'd done a few more of those. We found stuff up at the surface and not below. Yeah. We sure did. Uh, but once, once the initial fallback came in here, it went into the, the climate went into extremely dry conditions, where it rained over probably just a little while each year, and during those dry conditions the winds came up layers that blew in of sand mm -hmm. well after a period of time may have been a year it may have been less than a year it might have been two rainy seasons a year we're not sure about that mm, each rains, one of those could have been a hurricane yeah the rains came <clears throat> uh, just for a short while and would dissolve the clay and lay down this dark layer right on the top mm -hmm. of where the sand was laying uh, it sort of dissolved it and then the clay would stop and it would draw this line, draw that line along there. Now a lot of the variation in the line, the loops and swirls and all that sort of thing are from roots driving down and disturbing the lines. So. Okay, now take us down to the clay. Show me the clay down there. This is the, this is the blue clay down here. You got blue clay and it almost turns black right at the top because of the organics. Again, the organics may have come down hmm. from That one's a, looking pretty organic right there. Yeah, from the roots. Uh, and maybe left over from the impact. And then there's the, the orange and gray mixture that the uh, 
where it's all stirred and rolled and pushed and tumbled and all kinds of things. Dig out some of that little inclusion there, whatever that stuff is. What is that? The black? Yeah. That's probably from a stump or a root. They grew down and then stopped at the clay? Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to grow any further because that's where the water is. Mm -hmm. When it gets there, it's, got, it's found its home when it gets there. Okay, well, let's get to digging. I'll tell you, Matt, get arms here. Damn. Can you see it in the picture? Oh yeah. Particularly this video, but I'll go and get it on. <clears throat> Damn. Can you see it in the picture? Oh yeah. Particularly this video, but I'll go and get it on. That's the clay. Okay. That's the important part. Well, that's the bottom anyway. Important or not, that's the bottom. Yeah, find a mammoth tooth in there. <laughs> There's actually reports of shark's teeth. In the blue clay? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, I've read every fossil reference to blue clay ever, ever published on Google Books. Okay, now you think you can take a picture. Yeah. Mr. Ernest Carter? Yeah. His friends call him Ernest? Oh, I thought it was Ernest. Oh, Who's Ernest Carter? Um, Anthony. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why everybody calls him Thurwood. Lights ain't doing much here in the sun. Yeah, not here, but. Well, maybe over there. They're going to come in here.